And he said, if I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. You say, well, I don't never pray. I don't never, you, you don't say that. You, you better be seeking him. You better, listen, if you don't realize you sin, do you know God? If you don't, let me tell you something. I, I'm going to tell you something. If you don't know you sin, you're a sinner. I'm talking about saved, born again. You don't realize you're a sinner. You're in trouble. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Now listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said to him, He that is washed needeth not saved to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all. Now who's he talking about now? Judas. He's talking about Judas. Mm -hmm. He says, Y'all are clean, but not all. Why are you gonna have why are you gonna have a foot washing service and why are you gonna cleanse people when you've got a devil in the midst? And you're going to have to deal in your life with devils and, and people come. Listen, when you get saved, you hear me? When you give your life to Christ, if you think you're not going to be have a bullseye on your back, back of you, you're crazy. Because the devil's going to do just like he did uh, when he tempted Jesus. When he tempted anybody, he's coming after you. He's trying. You're going to think, what in the world is all this hell I'm going through? Why, ain't, Lord, my goodness gracious, I'm trying to serve you and do right. Why is all this hell coming this way? Well, because you're serving Jesus, that's why. You say, well, I, I mean, yeah, for we know, all right, all right, for we know who should betray him, and therefore said he, ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet, and had taken his garments, and were set down again, now when you listen to this, he said unto them, know ye what I have done to you, what, what, what has Jesus done to them? Do you know what Jesus has done to them? He's asking them. You know what I just did for you? He said, well, you washed my feet. Okay. All right. That's not, that's not what he, you know, he washed their feet all right, but he wanted them to understand something. Now, let me ask you something. If Jesus washed your feet, what would be the next step you think you would do? You would go wash his feet. Right? But wait a minute. He don't need no foot wash. No. One who does. Let's read on. You call me Master and Lord, and you say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash <coughs> one another's feet. Right. Now, we love the brethren. See? So what we do is, we make mistakes and we do stuff, but he said, I want you to wash one another's feet. I want you to go out here and wash. Now, what is, what is the foot washing deal? It's forgiveness. It's forgiveness, isn't yeah. it? It's forgiving people. It's saying, you know what? I mean, I don't like it the way people do stuff, and I don't like this about you, and you've got certain characteristics I don't like, and you don't like certain characteristics. And I understand that. We're, not, we're humans. Mm -hmm. You know, we look at somebody and say, I wish he wouldn't do that. And he does that all the time. I heard uh, <clears throat> Dr. James Baird, he was talking about, he said, somebody told me one day how I used a certain term over and over again. Like, listen to me. And he said, I said it about 15 times in a message. I thought, I'm going to quit that. <laughs> you know, you get, I'm saying you get quirks about people. And you say, I wonder why they do that. They just do that for me. Do you do anything for me? Now, I'm not saying you can't. You can be agitating. All you've got to do is the devil come along and say, Wayne, won't you tell Angela this? And you're saying, Angela? Oh, uh, <laughs> and you think, oh, I shouldn't say that. Right? Y'all don't never do that, do you? I mean, you don't never say the wrong thing to the wrong people. And, you, you know? Yeah, yeah, you do. You say, well, I, 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 uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Then you're in trouble, and then you have to hope they forgive you, right? How long does it take to forgive a man? A week. Seven Three. times seven. Seven. <laughs> seven times seventy. Four hundred ninety. <laughs> See what he's saying? He said, Wayne, you need. I, I need to wash your feet. 
Wait a minute, I do? Yeah, I said, what are you saying? He said, you see people all the time. He said, I don't like that guy. What if you go wash his feet? What does that mean? Forgive him. What if, it, what if you share the gospel with him? What if you, what if you really loved him? Jesus is showing love. Is that right? That's right. That's what he's doing. He's showing how much he loves his people. He loves you today, and he wants you and I to go wash his feet. Put up with people that are just a pain. You say, I can't stand that person. I hope Nancy Pelosi gets saved. I hope Chuck Schumer gets right with the Lord. And we, but we don't really think they are. But you know, I think they're just full of hell and full of the devil. But that doesn't make any difference. Jesus is saying you stay mad all you want to. You haven't accomplished anything by anger. Anger does not work with God. If you get angry, Jesus got angry. And he, don't get me wrong, he got angry and he cleaned his father's house out. Right. Now let me ask you something. He's, there's probably some things in our lives we need to, you know. Let me ask you something. Has the Lord, has the Lord put on your heart to do something? Like just, I mean, it doesn't have to be anything real big, but to God it's big. And you, listen, I think about this a lot of times. Uh, I heard a pastor talking about water baptism. I got, <clears throat> this is crazy. I know it's crazy. But I, the thought come to me. Santa says, I mean, you said something about the Red Sea. They crossed the Red Sea, and I might not have had. We was going to Shreveport or whatever. And, and I thought, you know, just as, as a joke, I said that they walked on dry land. But I said, if you said that, that the Israelis crossed, swam across the Red Sea, they didn't swim, did they? No. They walked on dry land. Right. And that's the way the Lord will do our path. Trouble will come, but many things are going to come against you, but you'll still walk on dry land. God's going to make sure you're okay. He's going to get you all the way to glory. He wants us in this process to be like him and wash feet. Some more things. Well, let's do that, okay? I didn't say easy. I didn't say it's going to be easy. But baptism. I'm just saying about baptism. You've been baptized since you've been saved? No, just think about it. I, I, I mean, I'm saying, listen, if you, if you was baptized and then saved, you need to get baptized. I ain't trying to, you know, I'm trying to heat the baptist up. I'm just telling you. God's plan was that when you got born again, you got saved, right. then you followed the Lord in baptism, right. water baptism. That was a commandment. Right? Am I right? Right. That's what he said. So if we hadn't done it, we just need to do it. That's all. Right. And if you give your life to the Lord, you'll tell us. Won't you? You can't. I mean, how are you going to have to tell us? God's good to us. Amen. But the world doesn't understand us. We, we don't love the world. We love Christ. And he's on our side. So let's go tell them. Folks, somebody go insult you today, probably. Just give it in. Have y'all been insulted this week? You had somebody say something or pull out in front of you or do something or flip you off or do something and you think, I ought to beat your brains out, boy. You say, wait a minute, that wasn't right. Uh, I, I mean, when something, you, you want to make me mad? You mess with my grandkids, right? You, you mess with my grandkids, you mess with me. You abuse them, you, you say something bad about them, now, I can say something bad about them, but you don't say nothing about them, right? right. Isn't that right? That's right. I mean, because my grandkids are perking on them. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even close. And my, let me tell you something else. Years they need. And we all got sin, right? Mm -hmm. And they're all dealing with issues. So sometimes we just need to wash their feet. And you know what? You know what people would see? They would see our children would see us if we'll humble ourselves. I asked the kids one day, and I've said this before, I asked them, hey, y'all, has daddy ever done anything that really offended you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like, they, they'll be glad to tell you. You want, you want to see something? You want to just ask, ask have, have I ever offended you? Have I ever? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You sure have. And you still do it. I said, okay, jump on your mama or something. Don't be bothering me. <laughs> <laughs>
But let me ask you something. You've got family, you've got children, and they may be grown, and they may be away from you, but have you failed? Would we, would, wouldn't, we, wouldn't it be better if we just said, you know what, I want, I want you to forgive me because I made a mistake and I blew it and I didn't live right and I didn't do right and I want you to know I'm trying my best to live right now and I'm praying for you and I love you. Would you please forgive me? There's nothing like forgiveness, is it? Do you know how wonderful it is that God forgives us? He forgives us. I don't understand how he does, but he does through the blood. That's how. So let's pray. Let's pray together. Father, we need you. Thank you, Lord. Have, give us strength, Lord, to do what you call us to do. We can't do it on our own. Again. God, have your help. Thank you for these folks. And I pray for your special encouragement in their lives. And Lord, this week, that it'll be a blessing for you. We will tell somebody about you and your amazing grace and be with them and, and restore and uh, those that are away from you. And we pray for Thank you, Lord, for those that are here that care and that share your love. And, Lord, that you care about these kids and care about this life and eternal life with you. Help us, Lord. We need your help. Thank you that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Love you. Appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Thank you.